Welcome back. Well, for starters, the SJXFP is suggesting a bit of a downtake, though earlier today it was, it was indicating a 50-55 point downtake. Now it's indicating a 25 point downtake. Keep in mind, yesterday we came off close to around 100 points from the high point of the day. Devin Chauksi of KR Chauksi joins us uh, to, uh, you know, do a quick uh, analysis on a couple of those uh, stocks. Well, morning, Devin. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. The stock that's always been expensive but continues to surprise on the upside has been tightened. A few years ago, I would have asked you the same question. How expensive is it? What do you do from here? Well, it's a similar question today because those numbers looked pretty good. Your take on the stock at around this 2,700 rupees odd. Yes, Nigel. Good morning. Well, I think the story continues. I think the uh, business of the company remains absolutely I think, strong in the current situation. With the opening up of the economy, festive season around, at the same time, I think the marriage season coming up next. I think all of this put together, the jewelry business of Titan, along with some other jewelers, I think is really picking up well. And I think that is what we gather from the footfalls also uh, registered by most of the jewelry retailers. So that is where probably I think one can argue that, yes, I think this is going to be a better period if September has given the growth of around 18%. In sales, I think most likely October, November, December quarter should be much bigger and much uh, larger one. I think as far as I think the growth in numbers concerned. So I think on that basis, the momentum continues along with I think other verticals that Titan is having. In my viewpoint, I think this stock remains expensive, but at the same time, I think this market gives small corrections. I think in between, and that is the time when I think you could possibly enter into this company for gaining 15, 20 percent appreciation in a year. Okay, that's on Titan. Uh, what about on Hero Motor Corp? Devin, Jeffries wrote a very interesting note where they said, and this is the narrative, right? After uh, a 10-year, 5-year uh, slow growth for the auto sector, now things are coming back in a big way and they've upgraded Hero Motor this morning as well. Um, what's your viewpoint there? Yes, Sonia, good morning. Well, I think the uh, larger part of the story is unfolding. I think most of the two-wheeler companies are basically experiencing the electric vehicle journey now. And probably, I think, the, to get the larger amount of growth, probably, I think, the, uh, uh, the, the, the battery and the substance, I think, would possibly should be available to, I think, most of them, which is now, I think, speed is now expanding as far as, I think, the availability of batteries concerned. And that is where one can argue that the numbers could possibly click on the electric vehicle side. Looking at, I think, China as example, probably I think we could see in the next two, three years' time the larger population of electric vehicles, I think, in our country as well. And I think most of these circular companies particularly have had, I think, the relatively weaker uh, season in the last quarter, which in this particular quarter is expected to be slightly better because of, I think, A, the festive season, the marriage season in the rural India, and possibly, I think, you are likely to see the higher amount of uptake for the two-wheelers. Many companies like this, uh, including Bajaj, probably should be doing reasonably better in this particular quarter. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Devin, hi, good morning. Uh, just two names, if you have any thoughts. One is Mazgaon Dock, which has done phenomenally well. Uh, it was up uh, one of the largest volume-led gainers yesterday, 7%. And the other one is Fortis. Uh, you know, it, uh, it was up yesterday, you know, one of the first decent-sized moves after that uh, court order, uh, where the IHH open offer... I mean, there was disappointment and the stock sold off uh, quite a bit. Uh, so, these two names, if you have any thoughts, Mazgaon Dock and Fortis. So, Mazgaon Dock remains, I think, convincing story. The amount of order books they are building, I think, is definitely, I think, suggesting that the way ahead for, for the company remains, I think, pretty strong. What I would like to see is, I think, whether it is sustainable on a quarter or a quarter basis, and at the same time, I think, that generates enough amount of profits for the company. If that does happen, then definitely I think it's a relating story that one can talk about. All right, uh, Devin, thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, it was a short chat, but informative one this time around. Thanks for being with us on CNBC TV 18. Well, let's get a quick handle on what's